Hi guys, Mike Martin here. Um, so today I'm going to just quickly go through and show you how I would rapidly do keyword research on a new client website. So if I was taking on a new client um, and I wanted to do some rapid keyword research so we can start looking straight away, know where we're going to be building contextual relevance, know what type of articles we're going to be building and I didn't want to be going through and doing... Because uh, content marketing becomes very, very long-winded once you've got a website that's been up for 12 months, 18 months and you've got all the pages filled out and you've done absolutely everything and then you constantly go in and you're searching for keywords between a set uh, search volume and it becomes it becomes very labor intensive but it doesn't need to be right at the beginning okay so I've picked this particular site here I picked it because it's on a, a shit Wix <laughs> domain um, and I'd probably say to him we need to rebuild your site if we were getting involved or uh, we definitely need to start paying because you don't want that stupid thing up there anyway this guy is, is in like position number 80 um, 80, 90 summit, yeah, pick a locksmith. So he's right down on page eight or nine. Now, if he came to me as a client and he's like, right, I need to start ranking, um, what do we do, Mike? Where, where do we go? So so if you pass it over to me. My first thing to do is going to be, obviously, I'm going to create a project. Now, I'm going to use my personal account, not my company account for this SE ranking, which is something I use. If you want a two-week free trial, there'll be a link underneath the video somewhere. Um, right, so in fact, you can go to mikem.uk forward slash SEO. Uh, mikem.uk forward slash SEO and get a free track right. So basically what I do, this is rapid keyword research. This is the fastest way of doing keyword research for a site to figure out exactly what you want to what you want to rank for in bulk. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to click on project. Okay. And I'm going to click. I didn't need to press that. I was in the right screen. Click create project. Okay. Then I'm going to paste it into here and it's going to be down there. I'm not going to bother changing the project name because I'm not really too bothered in the minute, okay? Don't only want me to see it at the minute. I could pass this onto our other account and to our, onto some team members, but it's not necessary. Right, so what location? So we, we targeted the keyword. So I typed in the keyword here. Just let me show you. Locksmith Manchester, okay? So we're going to say this guy's based in Manchester. Now you can do this in any city, any town, any anywhere in, in the world, okay? Um, let's forget about all the google logo packs and stuff like that for now we can go back and edit this later if we want to keywords now our top keywords are these top five now i wouldn't normally even bother adding these because um it's not necessary i know the most the keyword i'm trying to target initially is locksmith manchester yes but i'm going to put these in just for for example purposes i'm going to click go i'm going to click add and continue then it's going to ask me about competitors I'm not that bothered at the minute right and the reason I'm not that bothered is I'm going to show you what I do manually really quickly that enables me to know exactly what I'm going to be targeting very, very quickly and what, what keywords to target. So we're going to click next. I'm going to ignore this. Normally, if it was a client, I would definitely get access to their uh, Google Analytics and their search console. Definitely 100%. Um, then I'm going to click finish. Okay. So what this is going to do, this is going to pull up and create a... Um, a project in here for me for this particular client which will be down further down the bottom okay then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to to where i'd searched and i'm going to research this keyword locksmith manchester right and then i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to pick the top one okay so why am i interested in this one well let me show you quickly what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here i'm going to click on competitor research okay then what i'm going to do is I'm going to paste the URL in there and I'm going to click analyze. And what this is going to do, it's going to go off and it's going to analyze their domain name and it's going to tell me everything that they are currently ranking for, right? Which is brilliant. Okay. So um, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to click on, oh, I'm on the wrong, no, I'm on the right one. View detailed report. Yeah. Organic keywords. So you're going to click on that. I'm going to scroll in. I can see this has got 310 keywords, got about two grand's worth of traffic. Now, this is not a super high traffic area, and especially because it's local, it's never going to be. But what you're going to end up with here is a massive list of keywords that this client ranks for, okay? So first thing I like to do is make this 200, right? Because usually when you're doing local business, you're not going to get more than 200 uh, specific keywords. And then I'm going to go to filters, right? And I'm not bothered at this stage what's included, what isn't. Let's say I'm trying to target the keyword SEO or SEO agency or, or, or plumber location, shit like that. At this stage, I'm going to go in. I'm going to say, right, give me every keyword that's got search volume 90 plus. Okay. Right. So now we've got search volume 90 plus. So here we've got 97 keywords. Okay. Well, let me just get rid of that filter because it always fucking does me head in. Sorry, guys. Uh, right, so you'd scroll to the bottom. You'd see you've got 200. So this fits everything on one page. So the first thing I'm going to do is what? I'm going to click on these. I'm going to go to add to. I'm going to click add to project. I'm going to select pick a locksmith because that's the one we've just done. And I'm going to click add keywords, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back 
I'm going to click on number two in Google, right? Then I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to come back. I'm going to scroll to the top. I'm going to paste this into competitor reset. I like to click it and reset it. I don't know why. I'm a bit weird like that. I like to reset everything while I'm doing it. Um, then I'm going to click competitor research, okay? You're going to start to see the pattern here, right? You come down, you get your organic keywords. You click on view detail report. This one's got slightly less, 205 in total, but it's got six. So this one's got more what, what we would class intent-based. Now everyone's going to tell you, go for intent-based keywords, only target for intent-based keywords, only, right? You want to build contextual relevance as well. So if you want to build contextual relevance as well, you want to be incorporating all of the keywords that the top sites are ranking for. So again, I'm going to go and do the exact same process. I'm going to click on filters. I'm going to click on search volume, probably 90 because it's a low search industry. If I was doing something national, I'd probably be doing 100 or 200 or 300 as the bottom. And I might even cap it at the top. And I'm going to click apply filters. Right, this has now left me with 68 keywords. So... We got 68 keywords. We don't know. They're likely all going a lot going to be the same. Let's change that to 200, so they're all on one page. Let me just make sure those filters have remained in place. Yes. So I'll click apply filters just to be on the safe side. Click close filters. Right. So we got 68 keywords on this page. What am I going to do? I'm going to select it. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go add to project, and I'm going to click add keywords. So what have I got now? And then I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to do the same process and I'm going to get the top three ranking websites. So long as those ranking websites are not a page on a di directory. Check a trade is pretty much a directory. Lockforce is pretty much a directory. Lockrite is pretty much a directory. What I'm saying by that is they're national websites. This one here, it's the homepage URL. Emergency Locksmith Manchester. Then I'm going to hit these babies. Yep, same process. Cop that in. Jump over here. I'm going to go back up to competitor research. I'm going to re-click because I'm a little bit weird like that. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to click competitor research. I'm going to click analyze. Same process, guys. Okay. Then we're going to click uh, view detailed report. As you can see, 175, slightly less, which you would expect because it's not at the top. It's got a nice little arch to this one. Uh, but the same process again, right? So what we're going to do, first thing I like to do is come to the bottom and change this to 200. Just in case we get more, because otherwise you have to go to each point and add each to the project which is a bit odd but anyway i'll show you what i mean by that in a sec and then you click filter and we come over here and we say right anything that's got more than 90 search a month interested in and i mean this is not a not a set in stone number you you might have 150 in there you might have 200 you might have 500 it depends what you're going after uh, some niches get tons and tons and tons of search some other niches you might only want five in there search volume of five let's say i used to work for a company selling industrial ovens they got very very little search volume they paid a fortune um for for paid ads but they wouldn't give any anyone any uh they wouldn't buy leads off anybody ever because there was only five companies in the country um and every job was worth between quarter of a million and half a million each so they were like well we don't give a shit about her uh, selling leads anyway another story completely click apply filters close the filter tab because it keeps it open which is a pain in the backside we've got 63 keywords here what are we going to do okay well i'm going to scroll to the bottom first to make sure we're still on 200 on this occasion I'm going to do this now if this doesn't if you don't have that set to 200 and there's more than 200 you need to go to each tab and select them and add them so you'd have tab number two tab number three and so on and so forth okay so for this one we don't need to because the way i'm doing it add to project select the project click add keywords okay now this gives us a great base now so if i now go back over to projects scroll to the bottom click on this one and this one okay you're going to see that we um it might not have updated itself just yet oh it has it's all, they're already in there right so now what you've got based on search volume okay we can see locksmiths locksmith emergency locksmith locksmith emergency uh postcodes in manchester don't know why we'd want that this is this is what we do slowly we'd start to remove these okay um Bedroom door locks is important. Types of door locks is important. Door lock types is important. Types of locks on the doors. So I'd go through and delete stuff like this, okay? Because we're never going to build articles um, with these, right? However, emergency locksmith near me, internal door lock, internal door locks, lock picking, 24-hour locksmiths, locksmiths in Manchester, locksmith in Manchester, Manchester locksmiths. As you can see, what we've ended up doing is we've ended up getting a shit ton of great keywords for our client in what I've, I've probably been doing this video seven eight nine minutes something like that it might be a little bit longer front door lock types key broken in lock 
these are all going to build contextual relevance. Some of these are intent-based. Locksmith 24-7. Locksmith Bolton is, is, is a good one. It's quite close to Manchester. Bolton Locksmiths. Change uh, lock cost. Key cut Manchester. Lock change. Cheap locksmiths. Cheapest locksmiths. Locksmith for cheap. That that's I'm assuming locksmith for cheap isn't going to somebody who's native English speaking, but he's based in Manchester. Locksmith for cheap, but it gets 590 searches a month. I can't imagine there's too much competition for that. Okay, locksmith pricing. UK lock pickers. Uh, locksmith cheap. Locksmiths Wigan. So these are areas near to Manchester that these white sites also rank for. Locksmith in my area. Door lock near me. Emergency locksmith Manchester. As you can see, what have you just done? Right, locksmith Oldham. I used to live there. Um, what we've done is um, Mortis Lock with Thumb Turn. I would never have thought of that. And I'm a locksmith. Mortis Lock with Thumb Turn. What the fuck? Why, why do you want a Mortis Lock with Thumb Turn? I don't know. Let's just, 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 it's just, I don't need, anyway, let's not get into then sort of questions. But what I'm saying to you is if you want to start doing keyword research, and this is also giving me Locksmith Crew, Locksmith Salford. Okay, we've got, um, Locksmith Oldham, Locksmith Rochdale, Locksmith Alteringham. So what this has also done is it's give us, and, and let's say we're not using Mass Page, which I do a lot, but let's say we're not using Magic Page plugin and they're not building for Mass Page, that, but what we are doing is we're trying to um, figure out what areas and what stuff we want to rank for. Pick the top three sites in, in the location. Make sure they're the same type of sites as what you, you're trying to build. And then very, very simply and easily, just drag in all of their keywords. Get the ones that have got over a certain amount of search. Okay, have a quick route, route through, figure them out. Go through, pick out all the shit ones. As you can see, I have a, where is 0161, right? That probably we don't want. The postcode ones up there we probably don't want. But most of these we're going to DM map. Okay, we're not probably not going to want to rank for that. How to fit a mortise lock. Brilliant. Install locksmith fit door and then what do we do creating articles how to fit a mortise lock brilliant go over to chat gpt tell chat gpt to write you a full thing on how to fit a mortise lock take it over to page rewriter put it in there paste it in click make human go back put it into your website and then just go through and make sure you're happy with all the little sections and then it depends what tool you're using for your on-page seo as to whether you're going to use a tool or whether you're going to use something that enables you to to score the page which which is great if you're new to this um and if anyone's interested in that give me some comments below the video and what i'll do is i will show you the types of tools we use to score the content on page um, versus the, pay, the 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 plugins that we use that don't score the content but just ri literally write it for us. Anyway, guys, really hope this helps. If you pick up a client, this would probably be one of your first steps, okay? This is even before you're going to go off and do a technical audit because you're going to want to do a technical audit. And a lot of people don't understand what a technical audit is, but you Screaming Frog for that. It's a free tool. It does up to 500 pages, and that enables you to go. Imagine you, you were sending an athlete out with a broken leg, okay? Sending an athlete out on, 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 on to uh, uh, to play football with a broken leg, he's not going to do very well. He's still talented. He's still, he's still just as good a, a footballer as he was before he broke his leg, but he's got a broken leg. If you're not doing a proper technical audit on a website, then you're in a situation where... You're sending your website out of a broken leg. It's never going to perform correctly. It's never going to perform right. You're not going to be able to weigh up what it's going to be able to do in the SERPs unless you first of all go and fix all the shit that's wrong with it by doing a technical audit. If you want a video on that as well, give me some comments in the bottom and I'll do a technical audit video for you. It's no problem. Um, guys, hope this helps. Um, do this for your clients and you're going to kick ass. Uh, thank you very much. Save you tons and tons of time. Save, save you all your keyword research time and all the, all the other bollocks that you do. Forget about doing the keyword research the way that most people do it. Look at the ones that's ranking, drag in what they're ranking for, then, because these guys are at the top of Google, they've spent years doing SEO and building it and getting it to the top and doing all the stuff that they need to do. They're already ranking for all the keywords you want in that location. If you rank for all the same keywords they do, where are you going to end up in the SERPs? In the same place they are. Make sense? Right at the top of Google. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.